of the artist path. It's not always your sort of first inclination to be an artist. What was your first love? Talk about that. Well, I know that I was drawing visual art from um, as far, far back as my memory can go. So it wasn't, uh, in, in, the, in the weirdest way I have to say is it wasn't special. It was just something I did all the time. Um, so my love of music and singing was actually what I thought was more interesting. In my mind, there are creatures that make sounds in the world, yeah. and that's actually something guides me to how to finish or at least complete the atmosphere so I kind of think about like literally the work that's standing behind you humming yeah, yeah. it's about the you know the world that she inhabits it's full of mosquitoes buzzing these birds and this kind of very photo and that's what I get when I walk in and that's what I love about looking and standing in front of these is that it's amazing physical in a way where it makes me want to move I start to really um, physically connect to my own sort of limbs in a way. Is that something that sort of sort of movement or dance? That's that something. Is that something you're in your studio you're thinking about oh, really? composition? Yeah. 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 I mean, a lot of the early work was um, focused on pinups and yeah. very kind of um, yeah, I remember those. Yeah, these these um, poses that you the uncomfortable poses of the glamorous girl is one of the most appealing things. For some reason, there's something about women comfortable. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> we've been trained so <laughs> we've been trained. Women with, with the dress women. and everything. Yeah, yeah. But, but like not breathing and then the stiff <laughs> position. I think when she's... So that was a, a, you know, a big part of the early books to really um, break apart this kind of this fiction and this, this, um, this kind of um, this shackle mm -hmm. pose. Yeah. This shackle. Now um, I've moved to many different um, um, poses and I've gone through sort of the magazine poses and the pornographic poses and I'm in a place where I think I'm thinking about um, inter-species uh, creatures that are, are, are fusions of different species, animals and all kinds of things. Yeah. So a plant and a female and a machine will, will be all fused into one creature. And the, the idea for me is how does this creature even exist? How is it going to walk? How is it going to stand up? Does it even stand up? It floats. Yeah. It, you know, it just kind of slithers on the ground. You know, because I think so much about women and what we consider attractive. And it's so different when you yeah. go from one place to another. Yeah. So breasts are so typically in yeah. the West. Mm -hmm. White European breasts is like yeah, the yeah. most stunning <laughs> thing, but then you go to some cultures and it's like the breasts are just not even yeah. But then maybe the buttocks, so maybe the legs are more attractive, but maybe yeah. the hair yeah. is where all of the sexiness resides. Or the, you know, and so the, the flowers in the work, some of it, some of my my flawness, my flora, my plant life play on the idea that there's a way that flowers attract us, attract yeah. um, uh, animals and other beings to help them make love. I think we forget that the art and the art that we make comes from who we are. The women in, that I portray in my work are women in my life and women that I sort of really seek guidance from. My hope is that by presenting them in my work that they are speaking to me and they're speaking to the world and they're they're giving their voice. And I and I like to think that there's that similarity in your work, you know. I mean, I think we both we both know that the, that placing these women as the central subject in the work is actually giving them the, the, the rightful place that yeah. they deserve mm -hmm. because they are such magnificent yeah. people um, that we've been raised by. Not perfect, not um, you, know, um, you, you know, with human failings, but yeah. we have absolutely done tremendous. And that's so what we. Human feelings, and yeah. I think that's you know the rawness of yeah, the work. Exactly. It's sort of like yeah. those elements that people do not necessarily want to deal with in yeah. society. You yeah. have a great way of this transcendence yeah. Yeah. with material, 
which creates a different illusion. This is so transformed, that like the place where they come from, like, I don't even know where, what it is. Right, right. But well, I mean, the source of their plastic they're bags, plastic bags. They, they are all over, they're, yeah. they're annoying because of course they fit around. If you give them the opportunity, they can take the time yeah. and get um, you know, my theory is that everything, you know, these synthetic materials that we produce and man um, materials, it's all from the same world. Even if it's um, unhealthy to put it back in the earth, it does come from the earth somehow, even through manipulation of our own mental capacity. This piece, in, in a way, is, is, um, is emblematic of my whole process in the collages, but it's also for me a, a nod, a, you know, an homage to creativity and play. <laughs> what sort of empty words would you give an emerging artist, an inspiring artist mm -hmm. who looking at you coming to your show? What what are some sort of uh, sort of words so, of wisdom, words advice of wisdom that you would sort of I, if I were so wise. Okay. I know that um, my journey in particular would have gotten thus far if I had uh, stuck to what I was passionate about. With visual art, it's, you know, you are creating, you know, really good wine. You have to yeah. go through the like whole process, you have to grow yeah. up, you have to grow, and you've got to lose yourself in the process of making it. And it's, it's not, none of the, the best work I've ever seen is happen without sacrifice of some kind. You know, stick to it. If you love it, and if it's guiding you, yeah. Somehow, and if, you know, it really speaks to, to yourself and people around. Just stick to it, and eventually it'll come through. It'll find its home. It'll find a place.